special thanks to Patreon support Transfighter 8 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Spirit 24 here bringing you another Minecraft World War 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the IAR-39. The IAR-39 was a later variant of the IAR-37. This was a 1930s Romanian reconnaissance or light bomber aircraft built by Industrial Aeronautica Romana. Development started with the IAR-37 prototype which was flown for the first time in 1937 to meet a requirement for a tactical bombing and reconnaissance aircraft. The IAR-37 was an unequal span single bay biplane with a fixed tail wheel landing gear and powered by a licensed copy of the Genome Rhone Minstrel Major radial engine called the IAR K14 2 C32 with 870 horsepower. It had room for a crew of three under a continuous glazed cockpit, pilot at the front, then observer, and a gunner at the rear. It had dual controls and was fitted with a locally designed bomb sight and a camera. The IAR-37 entered production in 1938, but production of the engine lagged, preventing the aircraft from being completed, and it was replaced on the production line by the IAR-38, powered by the reliable BMW-132 engine. As available and reliability of the K-14 engine improved, the incomplete IAR-37 were fitted with the IAR K-14-3-636 with 930 horsepower to allow their com completion and production was switched to the improved IAR-39 which also used the IAR K144 C32 960 horsepower. Total production of all three prototypes was 380 at both IAR and SET, continuing until October 1944 with the majority being IAR 39s. So the IAR 39 designed to be a reconnaissance or light bomber. Um, more specifically, it was uh, used as a reconnaissance plane. During its history, it mainly uh, supported German forces in the Soviet offensive uh, by providing reconnaissance. Um, and that was pretty much the extent of their service life. Uh, it's overall a really interesting aircraft and our first ever Romanian uh, World War II vehicle, I think, in total. Um, I don't think we have any pro other ones, and this uh, IR, IAR-39 is the first, at least for aircraft, for sure. But yeah, really nice looking aircraft, and again, it's going to make an awesome addition to any of your Eastern Front maps on the German side as possibly a reconnaissance aircraft. Um, so yeah, cool stuff there. Anyways, um, before we go and jump into it, I'm going to give a special thanks to Patreon support Trenchfire 8 for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check out our Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a viewer quirk with your choosing, depending on which tier you decide to sub to. Helps me out big time with the channel and uh, supports my content and the uh, work that I put into it. So definitely feel free to check it out if you're interested and um, much appreciated if you do. Anyways, let's go and jump into the you know, look at the build real quick, and obviously from there we'll move into the tutorial. So, starting off with, we have obviously the prop up here in the front. It is a single engine, uh, basically biplane, as I mentioned. Obviously, we have the top and bottom wing here, making it a uh, biplane. On the bottom here, we have uh, basically the fixed landing gear for the front. Uh, this was not retractable. And as we work our way back, we have basically the section here for the observer, the pilot, and also the gunner. Um, there would be a gunner typically uh, that would be able to pop out, so this window would be able to open up and a gunner would be able to pop out. And there's also some versions that have a bomber here, or a gunner on the bottom, which might be the bomber versions, um, something like that. So there are uh, options with the gunners kind of protruding, um, but with just the way Minecraft is and the build, I, I really didn't feel like I could really represent either of those too well, so I decided to go ahead and leave it uh, with the basically completely closed off like that and more of a reconnaissance plane rather than um, you know and playing with more defensive abilities like a light bomber. Um, as we work our way back we have obviously the tail here obviously all the Romanian, Romanian markings the Randall here in the back and also the Romanian flag uh, colors here painted on the uh, rudder. Uh, but yeah overall really nice looking aircraft and a lot of really good detail in it and uh, again is pretty cool first ever Romanian aircraft. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer. We'll be going ahead and starting off with layer number 3. Now a few things to mention here if you are completely new to my aircraft tutorials. First thing is that this is for the in-flight version of the aircraft only. There is not a landed version as the landed version would sit at an angle and realistically we really can't represent that too well in Minecraft. So here we have only the um, in-flight model for you guys in this tutorial. 
Also, in addition, I want to mention that if you really are completely new, uh, I like to structure my aircraft tutorials half on, half off. What this means is we're going to be building half the layer on camera and the other half off. We're going to do the center line of the aircraft and build everything that goes on the right side of that center line. It'll then be up to you guys in between layers to copy it over. It's pretty straightforward. Once we get for, for the first few layers, it's going to be pretty easy and make a lot more sense. So just uh, pay attention to what I'm saying and you'll be good and it shouldn't be a problem. One thing I also want to mention, and last final thing, is that this is going to be layer 3 we're starting with, and this just is a nicer layer to kind of get a better kind of idea of the structure of the aircraft. And layers 1 and 2 will basically expand upon this going downward, and then we'll go back and start building everything up from layer 3. So definitely make sure layer 3 is good to go, as it's a pretty important layer. But uh, yeah, once that's all sorted out, let's go ahead and dive into it. So starting off with, uh, we're going to be going ahead and taking some polished diorite, and we're going to place a polished diorite top slab. Come off that polished direct top slab to the direction you want the front of the aircraft facing, we're going to place that iron trap door. Note that the iron trap door is on the top, or come off the slab like so, and not on the bottom here, like so. Very important. After that's done, we're going to skip a space of two blocks. We're going to go and then place down a iron trap door, two direct top slabs, a direct upside down stair, two direct top slabs, two iron trap doors, and then one, two, three, four, and five. Spaces back, we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door. So we're going to have a space of five between this iron trap door and this one right here. And that right there is going to form the center line here for this layer. We can delete any place door blocks or anything like that that we used to basically form those connections. And this is what the uh, layer will look, or the uh, center line will look like. From this point here, we're going to go to the middle space between these two um, iron trap doors and all that. We're going to go ahead and place down two dark open stairs back to back to each other, just like that. From this, we're going to go ahead and then go back to the upside down, die right stair. We're going to place down an iron trap door, follow one and two. Iron trap door is back, so you have a row of three. And then come off the third iron trap door here, we're going to place down a dark open fence gate and open it up toward the iron trap door just like that. After that's done right there, that is going to basically complete this layer here. You're going to take what we did on the right side and flip it over to the left side. And actually, one final thing I want to throw on here is on the sides of these dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down two dark oak wood signs. But anyways, that's what it should look like here. Here's one overview of what it looks like. And with that all the way, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number uh, two for the build, and, or sorry, layer number three for the build. And with that, let's move down to layers one and two. All right, guys, go ahead and move into layers one and two. For these layers, to start off with, we're going to go ahead and go down from these dark oak wood signs, we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls. And this is going to be done on both sides. Since layers one and two don't have a lot going on, we're going to go and do both sides all together, um, as it's pretty straightforward and there's only a few things we're going to be adding. We then want to go and go to the bottom of the Mossy Cobblestone wall facing toward the rear of the aircraft. So just for reference, the rear is going to be facing that direction there. We're going to go and place down a dark oak wood top on the bottom of this Mossy Cobblestone wall on both sides. Come off this dark oak wood uh, slab, we're going to place down a narrow brick up sound stair. Narrow brick up sound stair, come off that stair. And two stairs on top here to go and make the wheel for the landing gear. We're going to go and do the exact same thing, just over here to the left side. And we should have both of our landing wheels just like that. After that's done, we want to go and then place down a end rod going down from this direct stair. And then coming off these dark oak wood fence gates going downwards, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door on both sides like that. After that's all done, that's going to basically wrap up what we have there for layers 1 and 2. As I mentioned, pretty straightforward stuff there. And um, yeah, that's it for this layer. Let's go and move on to layer number 4. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer 4. Layer 4, we're going to go and start to get into a lot more of the structure um, for this aircraft. To start with, we're going to go ahead and place down an iron bar on top of this iron trap door. Going back to the iron bar, we're going to place down a black concrete block, followed by 1, 2, 3, and 4. Polished direct blocks directly back from it. We then want to place down a narrow black concrete block, followed by three light gray stained glass hole blocks, two black concrete blocks, two polished nanoslate blocks, a smooth quartz upside down stair, and then two polished uh, direct slabs, top slabs back, and then an end rod that's going to be on top of this um, iron trap door, like so. After that's done, going back up to the front, we're going to place down a polished direct upside down stair coming off the iron trap door, and a second. Uh, polished direct stair going back from it. We're going to then place down a dark oak wood upside down stair like so, and then come off the back of the stair a second stair so the stair turns into a corner stair, and then we have our normal stair right there like so. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and also grab a dark oak wood sign, and on the second stair here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign like that. We then want to take our polished direct, we're going to place down an additional three blocks back, 
and then we're going to place down your row 3 of light gray stained glass full blocks to the side here. On the side of the middle light gray stained glass block, we're going to place down a dark liquid button, and then we want to go ahead and place down a polished andesite upside down stair, and a second polished andesite upside down stair after it. And then two direct walls and a skeleton skull on the side of the quartz upside down stair. And that there is going to do it there for basically the fuselage. Moving to the wings, we're going to go ahead and grab a direct top slab. We're going to place down two top slabs, come off these two direct full blocks here. And then a skeleton skull come off the direct slab like so. We then want to place down uh, two rows of three of narrow brick top slabs come off those two direct top slabs. And then alongside those three narrow brick rows, we're going to place down uh, three iron trap doors like that across. We're then going to place down two rows of three of direct pop slabs coming up to the sides here. And again, three iron trap doors along those uh, pop slabs like so. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves some birchwood slabs. We're going to place down one and two birchwood pop slabs. And then a skeleton skull coming off both sides of this pop slab right here. After that's all done there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have for this layer. You can take it with you on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and you'll have this here for this layer. Anyways, that's it for layer number um, layer number four for the build. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number five. One quick thing before we go, go ahead and move into layer five, uh, we're going to go ahead and add item frames to the top here, or bottom, however you want to look at the stair, basically the top here, and then the side of this uh, smooth uh, diorite so upside down stair, and we're going to go and do the same thing over here to this side as well. And in these item frames, we're going to be placing out black concrete like that for the... Uh, around the uh, engine here and all that. Anyways, once that's all done, we can now go ahead and move on to layer number five. All right guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to the top of this iron bar right here. We're going to place down a gray shulker box that's going to be on the side with the top of it facing forward. Coming off of it, we're going to place down a stone brick wall, a green terracotta block, and a dark oak button coming off the green terracotta block. Going back from the gray shulker box, we're going to place down a black concrete block, followed by one, two, three, four, and five green concrete block or green uh, terracotta blocks back. Uh, we're then going to place down a row of six of light gray stained glass full blocks going back, then a green terracotta block, a smooth quartz full block, two green terracotta blocks, two polished diorite full blocks, and then a brick top slab on the end there. We're going to go and then, uh, that's our center line there, and we're going to go and then move out to the sides. Coming off this gray shulker box, the both sides are going to place down an iron bar. And going back from it, we're going to place down a black concrete block, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall. And coming off the side of the mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a wither skeleton spool. We're also going to take dark oak trap doors, come off the iron bars side, and also the black concrete block side. We're going to place down two dark oak trap doors, like so. And then a row of one, two, three, and four green terracotta blocks, like that, right along the side here. And then one, two, and three dark oak with top slabs like that after the green terracotta. On the side of the middle dark oak with top side, we're going to place down a dark oak with sign like so. Go ahead and continue now, we're going to take a green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta going back, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall, and then a diorite wall, just like that. Moving into our wings, we're going to start off by going ahead and going off the, the uh, first diorite top slab here, we're going to place down one, two, and three barrier blocks over. Now if you do not have access to barrier blocks, a substitute for doing the cabling between the um, top and bottom wing is to go ahead and use iron bars. However, the barrier and stone button method is definitely the best in trying to, trying to create those wires and stuff. So I definitely strongly recommend you use that. Um, but again, if you for some reason do not have barrier blocks, then iron bars is a option for you. Um, so we're going to place down three barrier blocks and stone buttons coming off those barrier blocks facing toward the front. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab our green carpet. We're going to place down a green carpet on this uh, polished diorite top slab here. And then on the remaining two, we're going to place down two more barrier blocks. And again, stone buttons come off of them facing forward. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a green carpet on top of this top slab here. And then we're going to place down one, two, and three on top of those diorite top slabs. Followed by yellow carpet on top of these two birch wood top slabs like that on the end. With that done, Going ahead and moving into this section here, we're going to place down a row of three of barrier blocks here and stone buttons here on the back. We're going to go ahead and then place down a spruce pressure plate, one, two, two barrier blocks, and then two stone buttons, just like that. And once that's done, we're going to then take a dark oak fence post and on top of these skeleton skulls, we're going to place down a dark oak fence post, just like that. With uh, that out of the way, uh, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a barrier block. 
or not very block sorry my bad a uh, item frame we're gonna go ahead and be going to these two dark oak with slabs placing down the item frames on the sides here with tripwire hooks rotated around sideways like so and again same thing over here to this side as well and that's pretty much it for uh, this layer uh, we do have a few things on the tail here uh, on both sides of this green terracotta block. The second one we're going to place a darker fence gate and then a lever coming off this uh, polished diorite block just like so. Also a dark oak wood button on this green terracotta block here and the last final thing we have to do for this layer is to go ahead and make this little banner shape here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the necessary materials I need and I'll come back here in a sec and I'll show you guys how to make this uh, banner here for the randall on the um, side of the fuselage. Alright guys, so to go ahead and make those banners, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to start off by going ahead and placing down a loom. We're going to go ahead and go into our loom and we're going to place down our yellow banners. Now we're going to go ahead and need two yellow banners and then a stack of red dye, yellow dye, and blue dye. Um, so for this we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down red dye, or my bad actually, we're going to be placing down, um, nope, sorry, red dye is correct. So we're going to place down red dye into the loom. We want to go ahead and for both these banners we're going to go ahead and select the red border. It goes around it like this. And we're going to go and do this for both these banners. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and then place down whichever banner you want. So just this one right here. We're going to go and do a blue line on the right side. We want to make sure it's a sliver here. So a blue line on the right side. And then our other banner, we're going to go and do a blue line to the left side. So we should have two banners that look like this. After that's done, we're going to take the banner here with the stripe to the right side. And we're going to go ahead and place down yellow dye into the loom. We're going to go and select the boxes here on the bottom right and also the top right. After that uh, we're going to go and then take our red dye and we're going to place down red dye in the bottom left and top left corner just like that. And that right there will make our first banner. We're going to do the same thing here with the yellow banner just basically the opposite. So we're going to take our yellow dye, select the left uh, side basically corners here for yellow dye and we're going to then switch back to red dye and we're going to go do the same thing here for the bottom right and the top right like so. After that uh, we're going to just take these and we're going to go to these two green terracotta blocks here and place down the two banners so the two blue dots are facing toward each other just like that. And that right there is pretty much it for the randall and the side of the aircraft and all the banner work we need to do at this point in time. So anyways that's it for that. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer which will be Layer number six. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer. We're going ahead and moving into layer number six. So for layer six to start off with, we're going to place down a iron bar on top of this gray shulker box. Going back from the iron bar, we're going to place down a black concrete block, dark oak wood stair, and then three green terracotta blocks. From this, we're going to then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, like race thing, us full blocks back, a green terracotta block, a smooth quartz full block, four green terracotta blocks back and a red concrete block there on the end. After that, going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair here coming off the iron bar, a second stair back, and then a corner stair coming off the side of this dark oak wood stair like so. Which is a little tricky, we're going to have to place down a stair like this and then a stair behind it like that. So after this dark oak wood stair here, we're going to go, ahead and go one, two, and three more back. So you should have four regular stairs and then this corner stair. Also coming off the first stair here, we're going to place down a green, or just a zombie head, and then on the four, or the last stair here, which is actually going to be a corner stair as well, so we're going to swap it for that. We're going to have a zombie head on the side here as well. So we should have a corner stair, three normal stairs, and then a corner stair like so. We're going to go and then place down a row of one, two, three, four, like we're staying with full blocks, a dark oak button on the fourth and second block. We're going to then take like Christine West Plains, place down one and two, like Christine West Plains back, mossy cobblestone wall, and skeleton school, like so. We then want to place down two iron trap doors, like so. And then coming off the first iron trap door, we're going to place down one out to the side. Then a dark oak fence gate. And then coming off the fence gate, we're going to place down an iron trap door back. We then want to place down one and two iron trap doors, followed by another one and two, and another row of two like that. So it's just a look something like this here on the rear. Once that's done, moving into our wings uh, for this section here, real simple. We're just going to go ahead and grab our barrier blocks and we're going to go and go to the top of this gray or this green carpet here. We're going to place down a barrier block and then one coming off of it toward the middle. 
coming off the two sides here, side toward the front and side toward the rear, we're going to place down two stone buttons like that for our cables. Then, uh, very simply, we're going to go ahead and place down a placeholder block on top of these two dark red fence gates. We're going to place down a zombie head, come off that block like so. Delete those blocks and then come off the zombie head on the back of it. We're going to place down another zombie head like so. So you get a design that looks like that there for the supports here for the top wing. And once that's done, just for the propeller here so we don't have to worry about it later, we're going to go ahead and take our spruce wood slabs. We're going to go to this stone brick wall here. We're going to place down a spruce wood slab here, followed by a top slab, and then a half slab going up like that. And then going down, it's going to be this, kind of like the same thing. So a top slab, followed by a half slab, and then our top slab down, just like that. So you kind of get the props of something like that. Also, in addition, uh, we want to go and grab ourselves an item frame, and we're going to place that item frame here, come off the front and top of the stair. Same thing over here as well, and then we're going to place down some black concrete blocks in those item frames like that to go ahead and finish off the design there for the engine. And with that all complete, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer 6. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number 7. Alright guys, going to move on to our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number 7. For layer 7 to get started with here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood uh, trapdoor on top of this iron bar, followed by a second dark oak trapdoor going back from it. We then want to go ahead and place down two dark oak wood trapdoors on top of those two green terracotta blocks here, followed by an inner brick slab, and then one, two, three, and four light gray stained glass full blocks, a narrow brick stair, two narrow brick slabs, and then a dark oak wood trapdoor. Again, if you have access to barrier blocks, we're going to place down a barrier block here, followed by a stone button, which will only be on the left side so the block. So only on the left side of the block, you're going to have the stone button. So just make sure you um, take that into account. We're going to then skip a space, and then we're going to place down a stone brick, or sorry, a mossy cobblestone wall here, two green terracotta blocks, and a brick wall here on the end. For the horizontal stabilizers, real simply, we're going to place down two green carpets here, a zombie head on top of this dark oak fence post, a end rod coming off the side of the green terracotta block, like, terracotta block like that, two or three green carpets to the sides here, and then one, two, and three uh, spruce pressure plates like that going across like so. And right there, we'll do it there for your horizontal stabilizers. Go ahead and move in, uh, back up to the front and out to the sides. We want to go ahead and go to our um, four light gray stained glass full box here and place down four light gray stained glass panes along the side here, a wither skeleton skull, and then there's skull like this at a slight angle like that going back. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a placeholder block on top of this zombie head. One head coming off of it toward the back, and then we're going to delete that block and then place down a zombie head coming off that head toward the front there. We're also going to place down a dark oak fence post on top of this zombie head here. Now after that's done, we're going to go ahead and go off of this zombie head. We're going to place down one and two barrier blocks to the side here with two stone buttons on the side of those barrier blocks. And then come off this dark oak fence post, we're going to place down two barrier blocks as well out to the side and two stone buttons come off the side facing toward the rear on that one. We then want to place down a dark oak fence post on top of the zombie head here and this one right here. And we're going to place down one and two barrier blocks. We're starting about three barrier blocks over, stone buttons on the back here and same thing right up here. Barrier blocks and a row three of stone buttons like that across. And that right there will do it basically for all our cabling here for the aircraft. And again, you're going to do that to both sides there. That right there is going to be it for layer number 7 for the build. With that, let's move on to layer number 8. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 8. For layer 8, to go ahead and get started with you, we're going to go and go to the tops of this narrow brick top step and these two dark brick trap doors. We're going to place down three diorite or polished diorite block, or three di polished diorite top slabs like that across, followed by a another row of three out to the sides like so. Once that's done, we're going to place down a top slab here in the front, followed by an upside down stair like so, and then a top slab back and another upside down stair like that, so it should look something like that on the side there. We then want to place down one, two, three uh, top slabs like this, and then an iron trap door. And we're going to go ahead and repeat this process a total one, two, three, four, five, and six more times. So we're going to go ahead and do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three one, two, three, and one, two, three. So we should have a total of seven rows of three like this going across. And we're going to go ahead and place down iron trapdoors all in the back there. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, polished diorite upside down stair, like so. One and two, or one top side forward, there upside down stair, and there top side like that. 
We then want to place down two vertical top steps here and then there are two like that coming off of them just like that. And actually, my bad, uh, we're going to delete those birchwood top slabs and actually we're going to have a another row of three of polished iron, uh, iron trap door like that after it. Anyways, once we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and then place down two birchwood top slabs here in the middle and a another row of two like that coming off of them. We also want to place down a skeleton skull coming off the sides here of this first row of top slabs like that on both sides. After that's all complete there, uh, we want to go and then take our... Um, we're going to go and then work our way back to the tail. So for the tail here, we're going to go and go up at an angle from this this uh, barrier block. We're going to place down a barrier block here. And a stone button on the side of it, just like that. We're going to also place down a green terracotta block on top of this one. Followed by a second green terracotta block back. And then a dark oak wood trapdoor here on the end. And on both sides of the first green terracotta block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post. Uh, we're going to go and then go into our create a menu and we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a yellow banner. We're going to need some blue dye. And we're going to go and then need uh, a loom. So for this, we're going to be going ahead and making the banners here, which will be part of the stripes here for basically the remaining fly that's painted onto the rudder. So for this, very simple, we're going to go into a loom. We're going to place down a yellow banner and blue dye. We're going to go and split the banner in half with the blue dye on the left side of the banner. Just like that, real simple, and we have our banner design. We're going to go and put this on these three green terracotta blocks, so one, two, three. And then over here, we're going to go and do uh, basically the same thing, but we're going to go ahead and need to make a, another banner. So this banner here, we're going to go ahead and again take our yellow uh, banner and our blue dye. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to place down a yellow banner, blue dye, and we're going to go in this time split the banner in half with the blue on the right side. And we're going to go and then place this banner on these three green terracotta blocks for the rudder. And once you have that all done there, that is going to complete layer number 8 for the build. And with that, we'll move into our final layers here, which are going to be layers 9 and 10 of the build, where we're just going to finish off the vertical stabilizer and the top of the top wing. Anyways, that's it for layer 8. With that, let's move into layers 9 and 10. Alright guys, moving into our final layers, we have layers basically 9 and 10, and that's all we have. So, for these layers, pretty straightforward, we're just going to go ahead and do it all together, um, as the rows are not too complicated. First, to start off with, we're going to go ahead and take our green carpet, and along the entire first row here, we're going to place down green carpet, running all the way along these polished diorite top slabs. Also, one thing I forgot to mention was that we are going to be placing down a zombie head on this diorite top slab here, so we should have three blocks in the middle here and a green zombie head there on both sides like that. So it should look like this here from the front. Anyways, once that's done, we're going to go and then place down birchwood trapdoors on top of these birchwood top slabs, and then dark oak wood trapdoors all the way along here, and then two birchwood trapdoors on the end. We're going to go ahead and go to the very center point, so this um, polished direct top side here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post going up from it, and a zombie head on top of it. We're going to go ahead and run to the sides of this fence post with green carpet, all the way to the birchwood slabs, and then on the birchwood slabs we're going to place down two yellow carpets. Same thing over here, like so and two yellow carpets. After that, uh, we want to go in very simply, just take some spruce wood pressure plates and on the spruce wood or the iron trap doors and polish the site upside down stairs, we're going to place down spruce wood uh, pressure plates all the way along the side like so. And that right there is going to finish, finish off your main wing. With that done, go into the tail here, we're going to place down two dark oak wood stairs back to back on top of those two green terracotta blocks and then a zombie head on top of this, or on top of this dark oak wood stair facing forward like so. We're going to also place down a barrier block coming off this dark oak wood stair with a stone button here to the left side and the left side only. We then want to go and connect these two zombie heads together with barrier blocks going forward and then on the side of these barrier blocks we're going to go and place down stone buttons all the way along the side. And once you have that all complete that is going to wrap up my design for the IAR-39 Romanian Reconnaissance or Light Bomber biplane. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this design, I don't want to say you guys give me proper credit for it. That's going to be anything from the sign of the build for my channel or this video if this does appear in your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for every project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. 
Um, again, big special thanks to Patreon for Transfer Eve for making this tutorial possible, and feel free to check out my Patreon page. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Kurt 204, and I'll see you guys next time.